where we showcase the news and goings-on of the anime and cosplay community that caught our eye this week. I'm your host, Serenity. Today, we have NES making a comeback, Legendary Pictures wants Pokemon, One Piece in Abu Dhabi, and our feature is Omega Bishoujo cosplay. Out on November 11th of this year, the Nintendo Entertainment System, NES, Classic Edition will be released. What is this, you might ask? It is a miniature replica of the original NES from the 80s. That's right, the one that started it all. It comes with 30 classic playable games like Donkey Kong, Castlevania, Pac-Man, and The Legend of Zelda. The cost? $59.99. That's $59.99. And if you want a second controller for that second player, it's an extra 10 bucks. But here's a really neat thing. If you connect the NES Classic Controller with a Wii Remote, you can use the Classic Controller to play virtual console NES games on your Wii U or Wii device. Isn't that pretty cool? I know this family will be getting the NES Classic and um, it's, Mark's gonna be in there. Now that he's in Overwatch, he's gonna get that. He's gonna be gone all the time. Moving on. Pokemon Go, to no one's surprise, blew up across the globe. Even countries that don't technically have it officially released yet are playing the game. They've somehow gotten a hold of an APK um, mirror file and uh, they're getting to play the game before it's officially released for other people. No doubt Niantic and Nintendo have made millions and it's only been what, a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks? So this week Deadline reported that even big movie studios want in on the action. Legendary Pictures has expressed an interest in creating a live-action Pokemon film. They want the rights, it's just a rumor, but we want to know what you would think about Hollywood bringing you a live-action Pokemon film. Yay or nay? Let us know in the comments below. The new One Piece film will be having, or I should say had, its world premiere in Abu Dhabi on July 15th, 2016. Now Abu Dhabi beat out Las Vegas for this privilege and I bet they're pretty happy. They've got a, uh, an anime studio out there and they've been wanting to expand and to show uh, Japan that they have what it takes to be a big anime community. Now One Piece Film Gold, which is its title, is the 13th release in the One Piece franchise, movie-wise. This franchise grabbed the world record for most printed comic series by a single author back in 1997. Can you imagine how many more comics there are of it now? It's crazy. <sighs> the film will center around the Straw Hat Pirates taking on Guild Tesoro, who is one of the richest men in the world. And now speaking of One Piece, our cosplay feature this week is an avid One Piece fan. Her name is Omega Bishoujo Cosplay, and she is a good friend of our all-powerful editor, Joshi T, who they actually um, watched One Piece in its entirety together. So that, that's a pretty solid friendship, I would say. It's a pretty long series. Her costumes are amazing, and uh, you can tell that she, she knows what she's doing in this industry slash art form. Some of her notable cosplays include Nami of One Piece, Kami from Street Fighter, and Tatsumaki from One Punch Man. You can check out all of her photos and, you know what, go and give her some love on her Facebook page at Omega Bishoujo Cosplay. 
And that is all I have for you today on this sweltering 38 degree Canadian afternoon. <sighs> I'm glad that's over. I love spending time with you guys. Each and every week, I always look forward to filming these. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let us know what you think about, I don't know, Pokemon possibly being a live action movie, or the new NES classic system, or One Piece and its movie coming out on Friday, which has passed because this will be up on Saturday. And, you know, the cutie that is Omega the Shoujo cosplay. Talk it out. Talk to us. Let us know what you want to see. Bye.